your, your food is ready. We have to come with me to the dining to eat. Is your man leave me alone? Daddy, Daddy, please. You have to come and eat. Daddy, you can't do this to yourself. You've not eaten for days now. Come to the dining. Come and eat. You I am not hungry. What do you want me to do now? Eh? I, I can't watch you die out of frustration. I can't. What am I living for? Okay, what am I living for? Okay, I know what to do. Hey, 
Come in. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, John. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Daddy. I came to check up on you. Oh, that's very nice of you. As you can see, I'm better. Good to hear that you're better. Thank you, Joma, for yesterday. I really appreciate it. You're very much welcome, Daddy. What would you want to have for breakfast? Breakfast? Um... Don't worry, Daddy. I know what to prepare for you. I trust you. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> it's alright, you're excused. Thank you, later, Daddy. So that's early. Ah, you know, I've not been to the office lately. So I decided to go so that I can see or know what is happening there. Okay. So, what do you have for breakfast? Ah. You can come and say it for yourself. <laughs> I trust you. Trust you. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. I can't 
can I help you? That you can sit. You're spoiling me. Yes. Okay. Ah. Mm. All right. So, what have we got here? Wow. Mm. Excuse me, sir. I have to go in and tidy up some things. It's okay. Nothing's gonna last forever. Nobody will stay in time forever. Be mindful of what you do today, cause tomorrow is not sure. You don't even know what comes next. Oh, you don't even know. Well, woman, be careful what you do, cause you don't even know. You don't even know. Be careful things you do Tomorrow will come You're not even sure So make you feel good oh. Make you do good oh. Make you do the right thing oh. Feel good oh. Make you do good oh. Make you do the right thing Cause you're not even sure Proud woman Be careful what you do Be careful what you do Wild woman Be careful what you do Be careful what you do Right now Tomorrow's gonna come I said I'm fine. They wash clothes. Mm -mm, I'm dancing. <laughs> I can see. Uh, yeah, you don't you don't attack it today. I did. Yeah. Uh, hey, IJ. Can I can ask you this question. This one will go come out today. The thing surprised me. You know, say since former madam carry children come up for this house. I never use my two I see Oga. Ha! It has not been easy for him. At least as a human. Me myself, I've tried to put my legs in daddy's shoes. How can a man live with the fact that his two children are his only to realize that they are not his children? Woman. Woman. You know go better for woman. IJ, you know go better for woman. What is wrong with you? Stop it. See what they tell you, eh? You say as I this way, I no go marry. I don't feel married, woman, because this is my heart, don't you see so? They're very much important. When you say, no, can they give woman, may break up for ground for me. So, what are you saying? What are the time you say? You see, marriage, I don't go marry. I don't go marry. 
Kind woman. It's woman. your choice. Eh? Uh -huh. I just make I ask you this important question. You know go like marry Oga. You know say Oga get money. And Oga money long. No go marry him. Are you okay? Ha. Which kind of question be this one? I be like who they seek. I be like that that more they work out for road. See me as I did swear. Now be number one gate man, chief security officer in this compound. I dey give the Nobody if he pass. I dey very okay. What are they you say? I want me marry your guy. I be, you know, one day on top. <laughs> hey. <laughs> thank you. In fact, no thank you. Eh? For your information, Mr. Getman, Daddy is a deacon in our church. So he will never stood so low to this your stupid and nonsense advice you're giving to me. See this one? Wait first. Now me they call gate man. Ma I tell you, I don't be ordinary gate man. I'll be chief security officer in this compound. Mm -hmm. Even you were there, so if you mess up, I arrange you. See, first of all, I won't help. You know, since I have one help, you see that I tell me marry or that. Really? And they talk about marriage, they talk about another thing. What now they tell you say now marry, now they talk about. In fact, who they, see who I won't even help. You know, since I help, I want to go and tell me marry or that. Thank you. See this one. I don't need your help. Take your help elsewhere. God's time is the best. You go, oh, do. Did I tell you I'm getting, I'm complaining? You carry Bible, they go to church. Huh? See this one. So at your age, 19, they like house help. Poverty. See, see, see who I want help. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Come on, my dear. God's time is the best, though. God's time is the best. Allow me. Let me get old. God will never allow me to get old. I will not get old, though. God's time is the best. Now it's gonna last forever. Nobody will stay on top. I see if I'm begging for your advice. I'm suffering. What you feel today, cause tomorrow is not sure. You don't even know what comes next. My good friend, Igwe Joseph, I actually want to start by apologizing to you for not making it to the welcome party of your lost but found daughter. The princess of Ozala Kingdom. I actually went to Asaba with my son for his formal marriage introduction. Yes. Oh, objection killed. It will do not. Prince. How did the introduction go? It didn't hold your highness. What? I don't understand. Sadly, by the time we got there, we were told that the girl we were coming for had left the house. My good friend, it was a drama. They said the father came and took her away. Wasn't the man she was staying with her father? Wasn't the man she was staying with her father? My good friend, it was a drama. I was seriously embarrassed. The girl in question was their house help. I'm often. Can you beat that? An orphan? Yes. A house care? Yes. Um, it will do not. But what is the name of the man she was staying with? I think one Rufus Uzondo. What? Rufus? Do you know him? Yes, I know Rufus. In fact, my daughter that I thought was long dead was serving the family as, as a home care. Are you sure of what you just said? 
Oh, oh, your highness, please. Can I can I ask you a question, your highness? This daughter of yours that you're talking about, please, what's her name? Um, uh, Diola? Uh, uh, Matilda? The, the, the Matilda you talked about, please, in request, your highness, is she in this house? Yes, she's here. Where is she? Matilda! I can't believe this. Matilda! I can't Where is she, please? Matilda! Matilda! My good friend, the Matilda we are talking about now is your biological daughter. What a word. When she was three months old, and ran off to marry Rufus. Ha! My good friend, Igwe Joseph, on behalf of my son, Prince Afumwa Elotanna, the Crown Prince of Okuzoland, may I seek your permission to announce to this household that will be coming in three days' time for the formal introduction and wine carrying. <laughs> My good friend. It's nice. My good friend. Cheers to when you begin interest. <laughs> Sincerely speaking, it beats my imagination. I don't know what to say. I never knew I'm royalty. You are the princess of Osala Kingdom. But I was made to believe you are my friend. Or was that a scam? I can't scam you. It's not even in my DNA. I was never aware of my true paternity. Yes. So, I didn't scam you. At this point, I wouldn't stop being grateful to God Almighty because I am believing that that accident was orchestrated by him in his own wisdom. To think Mrs. Dorothy is your mother, you know, given the whole stress and starvations and frustration she put you through, that woman is mean. She's heartless. Yeah, she is. But I've forgiven her. Yes. I can't possibly bear grudges for the rest of my life. She's my biological mother. I love her still. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> you really have a good heart. You have an amazing personality too. <laughs> You're special. I know I am special. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Father. I want to speak with you. You have my permission. Please sit. It 
It's about my mother, Dorothy. Uh, Dorothy is the last person I want to discuss now. Father, I understand. Your feelings are valid. I understand how you're feeling right now. What she did is bad in the sight of God and man. She didn't treat me well at all. But I've forgiven her even before now, regardless. I would want you to forgive her. Oh, no, no, no. Rise. You are before my presence. Please sit down. Fa Father, forgive my mother, please. I don't want you to carry such burden, such load on your mind. I want you to set her free. To err is human, to forgive is divine. When you told me you were a born again Christian, I felt very elated because that shows you are a child of God. That shows you know and respect God. And if you are a child of God, you should learn how to forgive. If you are a child of God, you should learn how to let go. I don't want you to keep holding grudges for her. I pray you forgive her. I ask you let go. Please, however you look at it, she's my biological mother and she will always be. I want you to forgive her. My princess. Father. I... I forgive Dorothy. Along, I you took after my me and everything. Along, I was just seeing her picture on your face, uh, but it's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Are you sure? Oh. From your heart. Trust me. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you. I love you so much. God will bless you. God will keep you in good health, in wisdom, and in happiness. I'm glad you're my father. How does it feel to live the way you do? You have the world around you. What does it pay to be the way? The joy around you. My princess, yes. yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other thing I want to do for you? No. No, no. Okay. Thank you. You look so gorgeous. Thank you so much. I'm so happy for you. I'm also very happy for myself. Mm. You're yes. so lucky to have Prince Afun as a husband. He's a nice man. And very cute too. But I'm bothered. So it won't bother so much. What seems to be the problem? Mother, I called Chief Rufus because I needed to speak with my biological mother. Okay. But he said he doesn't know where my mother took Olivia and Noel to. I know everyone is mad at her. I know she hasn't done noble, but she's still my mother. Tomorrow is my marriage. I don't want to get married without informing my mother. However you look at it, 
she's my mother. If not the fact that she brought me into this world, maybe I wouldn't have been here. So, I can't find myself to hate her. I can't wrap my head around it. I just want to speak with them. And Noel, Emmanuel showed me so much undiluted, genuine love mm. whilst I was living with them. I would want him to be around on my big day. Even Olivia. I've forgiven everyone. But unfortunately, I can't reach my mother. It's okay. Princess, I understand how you feel. Seriously, I do. My princess, your words melt me. You are a woman with a heart of gold. And your kind is rare to find. Thank you. You're welcome. Your soul needs blood. And we need a machine blood. Since you and your daughter's blood did not wash, I would advise you call his father. Doctor, his father is not within reach. So where is he? I don't know. Mommy, Emmanuel must not die. Tell us where his father is. My friend shut your mouth up. Must you open that nonsense? Madam, if his father is not around, you can as well get blood from my blood bank. Please. Doctor, I don't have money. I don't have any money for that. And I, I can't vouch for any blood. You know there are so many diseases around. Oh. How can I go for blood that I don't know about? Well, madam, I'm a very busy man. I have other patients waiting for me. So when you make up your mind, you can let me know. Okay? Excuse me. Mom, no one must not die. Who is his father? Eh? Who is he? How can we find his father? His father is dead. Mom, you're lying. Noel's father is not dead. You confessed months ago that Noel's father is still alive. Shut your mouth Why not up. call him so that he can donate blood for his son? Eh? Do you want Noel to die here? I, I, I don't understand all this. So. I can't, how can you be sitting down here and be watching your son? Just look at Noel's state. You don't want to call his father so that he can bring his blood. Who knows? His blood might be the solution to this problem. Mommy, call him, I beg. Let him bring his blood. Let's save Noel's life. And don't make me do that. Let me think of what to do. I'll shut him out of the better thing fast. Doctor, my mother's life has been a complicated one. How do you mean? Noel and I have been living with Jifu first from birth, thinking he was our father. Not until some months ago, my mother confessed that she had us from different men. Oh. So you mean your mother is married to Chifu Falls? Yes, sir. Oh. Um, so what now happened? Tell me. <sighs> Doctor, it's a very long story. And I don't want to bother you with the details. All I can tell you now is that my mother confessed that we are not Chifu Falls' biological children. So, uh, what do you want me to do now? Doctor, please, I want you to call Chief Rufus. What you said is not a biological father, so there's no need calling him. I know that Chief Rufus is a very good man and he has a wonderful heart. There's no way that he will hear that Noel is in the hospital and he will not rush to come and see him. Please, just call him. Let's try our look, please. So, why, why can't you call him yourself? Doctor. If I call Chief Rufus, he will not take my calls. He won't take my calls at all. Even if it's my mom that is trying to call him, he won't take her calls either. That's why I am begging you to help us, please. Please, sir. Please. It's okay. Uh, <clears throat> let me, let me, let me call him.
Yes, this is Chief Rufus. Who am I speaking with, please? Chief Rufus. Oh, this is Dr. Phil from Havana Hospital, sir. Ah. Dr. Phil. What a pleasant surprise. Yes, Chief. Oh, Chief, your son is hospitalized as we speak. What? Emmanuel? What is wrong with him? Oh, oh Chief, he is seriously sick. So, what is his situation right now? Oh, Chief, we may lose him if nothing is being done urgently. In as much as I have scores to settle with the mother, just go ahead and treat him. I will take care of the bills, okay? Chief, Emmanuel is this And I would advise you come to the hospital. Please, Chief. Well, in that case, get in touch with mother. Dorothy Thomas, let her take care of that angle, okay? Chief, please. We just want to take a blood sample. Who knows? We never can tell. Doctor, you can't understand, okay? Oh, Chief, I understand perfectly. Okay, just try and come, please, sir. It's all right, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Doctor, please, what did he say? Is he coming? Doctor, please, what did he say? Is he coming? Chief, I want to say a very big thank you for honoring my invitation. I really appreciate it. Um, it's okay, Doctor. We don't have much time. Since you're here, I would like us to go to the business of the day. We don't have much time. It's alright. So, uh, what exactly do you want me to do? Okay, let's go to the lab so that we can take your blood sample. Okay. okay thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Yes, Chief. Oh, Chief, I'm glad to announce to you that you are the donor we'll be looking for. I... I don't understand. Chief, I will do the explanation later. We don't have much time. I would like you to follow me to the lab so that we can take the blood. Look, Doctor, you don't seem to understand what I told you. I am not the biological father of that young man. Chief, please. We need to save Emmanuel's life. It is very important. Please. Doctor. What is going on here? Chief, don't worry. Let's save this young man's life first. I will do this explanation later. A very big thank you for this blood step. You see, the ways of God are different from the ways of me. I don't even know how to tell you this. Dr. Phil, you are getting me all confused. Well, Chief, we ran some tests and we are still going to do more. But from the look of things, it seems Emmanuel is your son. Excuse me? 
Yes, Chief. Doctor. Yes, Chief. What did you just say? What is the result of the DNA test? Chief, you will not believe it. Emmanuel is your son. Really? Yes. This is the result. Yes, Chief, we have had cases like this in the past. Doctor, you mean Emmanuel is my son? Chief, Emmanuel is your blood. This is unbelievable. So I'm a man after all. Eh? Wow. Um, okay, tell me, did you also carry out a uh, DNA test? On Olivia. Yes, we did. Okay. So, um, is she also my daughter? Well, um, I'm afraid, Chief. She's not. I knew it. I mean, that kind of a girl cannot be my daughter. I mean, if I see my blood, I'll know. <laughs> wow. Well, congratulations. Thank you, Doctor. So, I'm, I'm a man. I'm not infertile. Eh? Chief, you are very, very fertile. Wow. I knew it. I knew it. You see, the day Dorothy took Emmanuel away from me, I was looking at him. I said, this is my son. But my hands were tied. Eh? So I'm, I'm a man. <laughs> ah, doctor. I'm a father. Shall we? Shall we? Let's back up, please. Oh. Let's go. I want to see my son. Thank you. Atlas woman. Atlas woman. Why you been so heartless? Oh, Nana. I'm sorry, my son. It's not your son. Will you keep quiet? I will not. Shut up! If you spill nonsense from that thing you call mouth again, I will shut it for you. Idiot! For your information, Mom, a DNA test was carried out on both Noel and I, and the results stated that Noel is Chief Rufus's biological son. You lie that Chief Rufus is impotent. You witch. Olivia, did you just call me a witch? Me? Your mother. If you try that again, I will slap the living day out of your face. Are you alright? You are not only a witch, but you are a Jezebel. You go about breaking men's hearts. You abandoned your three months old baby and ran away to marry Chief Rufus. You had everything at your bed and call. Yet you went about sleeping with small small boys. Ah! A married woman. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? You said your first husband was poor. You married Chief Rufus who is very rich. Stay with your husband, no. Ha! Huh. Oh, I detest you. Now look at where your promiscuity has landed me to. I hate you. Foolish woman. I never want to see you again. I never want to see you again! Rubbish! So, Daddy, I'm happy you are recuperating very fast. So you get well soon so that we can go home, okay? I'm going home with you. Of course, you are going to your father's house. Bye bye, Auntie Matilda. 
Matilda got married to Prince Afunwa six months ago and uh, they presently reside at uh, the United States of America. My sister Ijoma. My Ijoma. <laughs> Ijoma is fine. You will meet her when we get home. And um, Uncle Zaki. Everybody is fine. Just get well so that we can go home. We reunite with your family, okay? I love you, son. Sweetheart. Sweetheart, please. Forgive me. I beg you. Did you just call me, sweetheart? No, did you? If you dare call me that name here again, I will pull out your eyes. My sweetheart Ijoma is at home. Okay? Ho. Oh. Idiot. What are you still doing here? Please. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Please. I'm begging you. Please. You are sorry? Yes. No, you are sorry. Now get out. Hmm? Will you get out of this place? Idiot! Get out! Woman. If I see you at close to me, why you be so I don't need to pronounce what I want to do. Why are you crying? Be a man, okay? Ijoma. Yes, Daddy. Please come. Okay. Good afternoon, Daddy. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, thank you, Daddy. Uh, please get me a glass of water. So, um, um, Dad, I I want to discuss something with you. Emmanuel, you always have something to talk about. Can't this one at least wait till I finished having my shower? No, Dad. It's important. Ah. Daddy, here is the water. Thank you. 
Ah. Drop it, you can go. Drop it. Okay. Okay, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Emmanuel. Yes, then. You said you have something to say to me. Can't you just wait until I finish having my shower? Dad, it's very important I talk to you about it. Uh, so, what is it all about? Dad, it's about Sister Ijoma. Ijoma? Yes, Dad. What about her? Dad, I... I want you to marry her. What are you talking about? Dad, are you not saying it? She's a good lady. She depicts the kind of woman that you need right now. That you're not saying anything. I think I need to have my show now. Bring my briefcase upstairs, okay? How does it feel to Dad, I think you need to think about what I've just said. Daddy. <laughs> yes, my dear. Yes, my dear. This for your crystal at least. This why you are squeezing and smiling like this. <laughs> it's like you have something to say. Spill it out. Daddy, I I have good news for you. <laughs> Go ahead. I love good news. I I'm pregnant. What? Really? Wow. You're pregnant? Yes. Are you sure about that? Yes. Here is the PT results. The pregnancy test result? Yes. Cause for celebration, Dad. Don't tell me you've been eavesdropping on our discussion. Um, not really. I, I was just passing by and I had the good news, Dad. How does it feel You're a bad boy. Oh, I know. You're a bad boy. Now, get me white. No white. Straight, we need to celebrate this. What does it take <laughs> to be the way you are? You kill the joy around you. Vanity. Such 
such a vanity Infidelity Is such a vanity Such a vanity oh. 